kisah seorang budak yang mencari makan eh. Ah, cuba ni. Memang sedap. Oh, ni best in the world eh. Like any Malaysian who's been away for a while, I'm gonna hit the best food spots, and I invite you to join me. Yo, let's go, man! Let's go! You'll never guess where I am right now. I'm in a place where it's known for its culture and tradition and of course its glorious food. I'm up north in Kota Baru, Kelantan. When my producer told me we were going to Kelantan for food, all I knew was that when it comes to food, it really is the land of extremes. On one hand, you have food that's spicy, perhaps of its influence from Thai cuisine. And on the other extreme end, food here is very basic and sweet. Let's take a look at some of the many foods that make Kelantan unique. Everyone knows the first place you want to go is Siti Katija Market. And the first thing you really want to taste when you get here is Kelantan's very own version of laksa, laksam. If you walk around the market, you'll find so many other unique Kelantanese delicacies to eat your way through. Plus, there's a wet market for all your fresh Kelantan grocery needs. Okay, okay. I get distracted when I'm in a place so filled with food. But let's get to the laksa. What this looks like is um, really hard chi chong fan with a bit of um, noodles um, on that as well. There's um, lots of vegetables. There is no meat whatsoever. So this will be a good dish for any vegetarian out there. It's got a bit of chili on it. Well, I'm just going to give this a shot. Dia manis, eh? Memang manis. Memang atas, memang manis. Memang atas, memang manis. They're not afraid to talk about it, you know. Yeah, we Kelantanese, we like our sweet food. That's the way it is. I think that's absolutely brilliant. But um, the condiments she uses on top reminds me a bit of laksa joho. It's a really sweet sauce, but when you mix it with a bit of chili, it's actually not that bad. The Kelantanese market is cheap. You're gonna get so many different things. It's unbelievable. And this, speaking of so many different things, is completely different than anything I've ever tasted before. You could spend all day here, but just around the corner from Siti Khadija is another food haven. And it was calling to my belly in Morse code. This is a great place to get real Plantani street food. Medan Selera Buluh Kubu, where you can find almost anything from nasi tumpang to kuis I haven't even heard of before. Let's go check it out. First thing, I'm in the East Coast. You have to have kropok leko, cik. Tak kropok leko, kita nak cuba je. Saya bagi 50 sen untuk sir, boleh? See that thing over there that looks like eels? That's this stuff right here. Okay. Kalau kita bandingkan dengan kerupuk leko KL, here's the story. Always, they are much more fishier. And not in a very sleazy kind of way. I mean in a very rich, full kind of way. You get full fish flavor inside. Very little batter in it. So good. The next thing I'm going to try is that familiar, but I hear it takes you on a truly Klantanese ride. You gotta try it. Shaped like a traffic cone and wrapped in banana leaves, nasi tumpang is an eye-catching rare find. Sebenarnya nasi tumpang ni apa cik? Nasi tumpang ni nasi dia macam nasi impit. Macam nasi impit? Nasi, agung dan ikan, nasi, daun udang, nasi. Oh, dia selang selang. Okay, that's how it works. You got to really. Oh, 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 watch out! Oh, got a man down. I had a man down. I'll get another one. It's okay. Tapo, jeep, tapo, tapo. Okay, never mind. I didn't lose the best part. Check it out. So it's ketupat, and it's got shrunding in it. This is shrunding ikan. Really, really delish. 
and it comes with udang. It's really sweet though. But then again, I hear everything in Kelantan is pretty much sweet. And of course, I was getting down and dirty with my food. The next thing I saw made me think that there was a fire! Ah! I am Pangam. I love me some chicken. You can taste the butter on it. It's like, wow, it's overbearing the chicken. But I'll tell you what, because of the charcoal taste, it balances it out really nicely. And I'm going to try it with a bit of um, his homemade chili. Not bad, sweet as well. And would I have this for dinner? I'd have three. From ayam panggang to bear steak in no time flat. And did you see the price? Dude! As the sun sets, the lights come up, and the place just gets busier. It might just be the party placed in Kelantan. Ruski. Dalam banyak-banyak pasar, kenapa Pak Cik uh, pilih pasar yang ni juga? Uh, ya, uh, pasar MPKB ini sudah lama terkenal di Kelantan. Dah dah puluh tahun. Dah puluh tahun. Ya. Ke tradisi lah, ya, macam macam dah biasa lah di Kota Baru ni. Look at all this stuff! It's not just kueh, this is kueh mue kato. One of them is this lovely, lovely looking thing called the akok. I'm going to have one of these. Oh, mm, mm. Um, it's banana flavoured, obviously, because it's infused with bananas. The outer rim is a bit burnt, which is to perfection because it gives it a bit more texture. But the inside is soft and it reminds me of um, pudding. Mmm, pudding! And my sweet tooth drove me to even more. I don't even know what this is called, but it sure as f look delicious. Good stuff. I reckon this is one of the best parts about Plantan. That food is everywhere at any time. And you get many, many more types of food than you do at any other place. Because that's what makes it the best in the world. But then again, the rest of Malaysia is like that anyway, isn't it? I guess that's why we're a must-go food destination. I have been told this is the best nasi dagang in the world. So that will My mama always told me that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. That's why I'm here to get a healthy, wholesome nasi dagang. And according to my sources, Kuang Ling is the best place to get it. Just ask anyone. Anyone. You'll find it at Capital Cafe, located along Jalan Post Office Lama. Just follow the crowd around a very friendly auntie and uncle who take up just a small front corner of the cafe. But I'm told the taste is just massive. Husband and wife working together. We are a team that makes the best nasty dagang in the world. Um, somebody told me it's the best nasi dagang in the world, you know. Before I try, uh, what makes a nasi dagang for you? Yeah. Nasi dagang uh, is very special rice, uh, actually. I mean, when you eat, uh, you can feel the difference, you see. Mm -hmm. What's inside this nasi dagang? Inside there, they got ginger, got uh, bawang, mm. then got a little bit of the santan. Mm. Yeah, it makes very aromatic rice. Other than the rice, most important in nasi dagang is the lao. Ikan tongkol, prawns, some rendang, and you can mix and match to your lao delight. Two nasi dagangs. Why? Because there's two amazing dishes that you have to try with it. You've got your ikan tongkol, and then you have to try the beef rendang. This is no joke, guys. Literally, I have been told this is the best nasi dagang in the world. You got you got your ikan tongkol. This is the ikan tongkol style. You got your um, ikan kering, which is cool, salty. Okay, and you got a bit of vegetable. Not much. Don't bother smothering it with vegetable. It's all about the rice this time. It's got that um, yellow fish sauce that she put in. So. Oh my word. Ah. Ooh, oh my god. The, oh, oh. It's so juicy. When I squeeze the fish, it squirts. 
Crazy. Whoa. That is some salty, salty fish. I love it. I think it's because you need to balance it out with the sweetness of the rice. Now, you get your savory taste from the fish sauce. And in case it's still too sweet for you, you can just take a nibble of your ikan kering. Gives you a bit of crunchy effect as well. That's great. The rice itself is really, um, it's aromatic. And it's lemak, you know, it's like, I, know, I think I know why they eat it for breakfast. I mean like, if we have our nasi lemak, this place has its nasi dagang. Hands down, totally different. Love the ikan tongkol. But I was really looking forward to my second packet, which had the rendang in it. Now for me, rendang is a very kawin food sort of thing. Let's start with the rendang sauce. Let's dig in straight to it. <laughs> Yeah. This is absolutely delicious. The meat just breaks apart. I'm sure she's made the rendang overnight or something. I'm gonna call my rendang expert. This guy, he always eats rendang because he always gets married. No, I'm kidding. Bro, let us go to basket. Sit down, babe. Eh, power kan? Oh, ada tu. Ada tu. See what I mean? Nasi dagang in KL is spicy. Gotta admit, we love spicy food. But the Kelantanese intended nasi dagang to be this way. Man, you're just sitting down in Kelantan, you know, and all these lovely people all chilled out, laid back, and you're eating their food the way they intended it to be. Sweet nasi dagang. Best in the world. There's no better start to your day than a packet of, or maybe two packets of nasi dagang. Just the thing to set you up for an education from Cikgu about nasi ulam. You'll find it right here in front of Bazaar Tengku Anis and behind the Kota Baru Royal Museum. A former teacher, Cikgu has branched out in his teachings to educate the people on healthy, wholesome, traditional food. Jadi Cikgu, kat sini semua makanannya fresh, Cikgu? Fresh. Hidup lagi dalam air. Hidup kat mana? Hari ini saja kita potong. Uh -huh. Besok kita potong yang lain pula. Oh. Ha, Tahu ulam-ulam kita di luar sana okay. telah diatur. Ulam masak, ulam mentah. Tak kurang daripada 30 jenis. Tak kurang daripada 30 jenis. Ha, oh. itu dia. Dan proses berbuhan buat di sini. Apa masakan yang paling favorit kat sini? Sini satu, ikan keli goreng berempah. Kedua, asam pedas ikan patin. Oi. Ha, gitu. Ketiga, gula darat ikan keli. Ha? Gula darat, gula, gula kampung. Gula kampung, ha. ikan keli. Ikan keli. A testament to how fresh the food is here. These tanks hold the live fish right behind the kitchen. Kita habis 300 kilo satu hari. 300 kilo? Satu hari, ha. And there's some budu. It's a mix of anchovies and salt fermented to budu perfection. Some people here swear by budu and will not eat anything without it. Budu ni buat tiap-tiap hari ke apa? Dah, dah. Dia buat tiga hari sekali, tiga hari sekali dan dibotolkan untuk digunakan lah. Who would have thought healthy food could smell so good? While Cikgu was giving me a tour, the lunchtime crowd came streaming in. I couldn't wait to join them. Look at all that. Jadi, restoran ini Inilah asalnya ulam. Okey. Ini ada lebih kurang 10 jenis ulam. Okey. Okay. Dan ini bahan-bahan uh. yang perlu kita masukkan ke dalam budu. Oh, okey. Ah, sila masukkan. Okey, okey. Okey. Sudah dulu. Untuk makan budu secara lebih sedap, kuah jangan terlalu banyak. Ah, jadi budu lebih. Ah, budu lebih. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Budu ni memang asal dari Kelantan. Memang asal Kelantan dan dengan mula budu ni dan senang-senangnya daripada siang. Tapi ini budu daripada Kelantan, bacok Kelantan. Bacok Kelantan. Nah, dibuat di sana. All sorts of chicha. 
from sambal to heavenly chicha for fried things, chicken or fish, which I may want to bottle up for mom. Mm. Do you like manis? Yeah, Very good. Very, very good. I've never had a sauce like this before. You gotta try the asam pedas with ikan patin. So lama, so delicious. Oh, Kelantan ni, dia lebih fokus kepada manis sikit. Mm. Asam manis. Mm. Yang kurang pedas. Yep. Jadi dengan tu, dia akan lain dengan asam pedas. Negeri Sembilan ke asam, asam pedas perak. So. Mm, 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 mm. Yang kadang-kadang tu terlalu pedas. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Oh, Kelantan ni tidak begitu lah. Jangan lupa tau, restoran Ruski. You know, you would think that it's kind of boring to be healthy where you don't get a lot of taste and things like that. And you think being healthy is just a, you know, an older generation thing. But it's not. If you look around me, it's like so many young people, even kids, who come here and they just love it and enjoy the food. I'm usually a carnivore, but this is one time I can definitely be a vegetarian. Best in the world. A meal with Chegu while getting an education about food that's not only delicious but healthy? Best in the world, man. So I found a Russian restaurant in, um, in Klantan. Paruski. Yani Gavariu Paruski. Tomiam Krasni Pajalsta. Da. The following is based on a true story. Yes, a true story. So I heard about these chicken wings, which you have to have if you come to Kota Baru. It's called Champion Chicken Wings. It's on the way to Pantai Cahaya Bulan. We're not sure where it is, but um, we thought we'd just drive around until we find it. The only constant here is you for me. It's 90 minutes later. We've been driving around for an hour and a half. Everything's closed. Champion chicken. I'm runner-up hungry, that's what I am. Hey guys, can we stop somewhere after this? Just anywhere, makan. I'm hungry, man. Hey, this one is okay, this one is okay. We're here now. Um, it's the first place that we saw. Um, it's nothing special, but um, I hope it'll do the trick. I really had my heart set on the chicken, but I guess I'll just order whatever and see how it goes, you know? <laughs> Ten minutes later. You know, I have to admit, it kind of looks good. Let's just start with the soup. Whoa! <laughs> oh, it's past my test. I always say, when you eat tom yum, first thing you need to do is cough. If you don't cough, it's not hot enough for me. This is definitely hot enough for me. 
Das. But here, I love spicy food. Okay. I'll put this to a hole first. Let's try some of this crabu. That crabu sotong didn't cut down the burn of that tom yum at all. In fact, it amplified it. Wait. This must be my lucky night. This stuff is crazy. It's really spicy. The sotong is crunchy. It's just obviously just boiled. Nothing more, nothing less. And it's got a right blend of the asam. So it's got that sour taste. Oh, it's genius. I hadn't been expecting much, but this place is gold. And nothing will prepare you for the ikan menangis. <laughs> You can eat soft, man. That anaki is lucky. There's a lot of chili in this, if you notice. I wonder if it's spicy as well. Wait. Oh. This is amazing. It is really good. Bless you. Well, let me try some of this. This stuff, it's spicy. And it's got the right balance of flavors as well. The fish is obviously just lovely, deep fried, proper fish. Siaka, sea bass, nothing too special. It's got all the condiments on it. Loads and loads of chilies. And the sauce, I can't get over the sauce. I can only figure why they call it ikan menangis for two reasons. One, you nangis because it's so spicy. Two, you nangis because it's so beautiful. It is amazing, seriously, you have to try this. Ruski is a place you might pass by without a second glance. But having tried the food, I can say I'll be coming back to Kelantan and top of my list will be to eat here again. Especially that ikan menangis. On the scale of finding food per chance, I deem this best in the world. The two extremes of sweet and spicy somehow complement each other and makes for a Kelantan that I never expected. You have to come and experience it for yourself. People think you can find any kind of food in KL. And that's true, but only to a certain extent. The real taste of Kelantan has to be right here. And I've never had anything like it. Dancing fish, dancing fish. Guys, I want everything. Everything. everything.